Hey everyone, so I'm back home at my mum's house this weekend because it is Mother's Day tomorrow so we're having a little like Mother's Day weekend. It is currently Saturday, it's actually almost three o'clock already, I've been rubbish at filming stuff this morning. I've had a fairly productive morning, I filmed a haul video which either went up last Sunday or will be going up next Sunday for you guys. I do have a video already planned to upload tomorrow which would have been last Sunday for you guys. But now that I filmed this whole video, I really want to get it up tomorrow so I can read your guys' feedback on some of the clothes before I make my decision on what to return because I'm so indecisive and I never know what suits me and what I should keep and what I should take back. If not, I'm just going to have to upload it the following week once I've already returned the items and then probably regret everything I've returned after reading your guys' comments. <laughs> so we will see. Hopefully I'll have the time this evening to edit that and upload it. Right now we're about to head out, me and my mum, to pick up my nan. We're going to go to a garden centre, I think, and also a little cafe to get some tea and cake. So that's going to be like a nice little early Mother's Day treat. I'm very excited. The weather today is insane. It is so warm. As you can probably tell from my shiny face, it literally feels like a summer's day. And I'm so excited to like sit outside somewhere with a cold drink take in the sunshine because I doubt it's gonna last for very long. But yeah, we're gonna head out now. I'm actually wearing two new things from my haul today. So I've got these mum jeans that my mum has convinced me to keep. I wasn't 100% convinced on them, but I've taken the labels off now, so I'm gonna have to keep them. I just feel like they're quite out of my comfort zone, so they're gonna take a little while to get used to. And then I've also got this pink t-shirt on that I got from Bershka. I have had the loveliest afternoon today. We went to a cafe that was probably the most aesthetically pleasing cafe I've ever been to. The interior of the cafe is how I want my future house to look like. There were so many plants and like little bits and bobs and it was just so nice in there. I got some vegan tiffin, which was great. And they also had a cafe dog who actually chose my lap as its seating choice for a good 10 minutes. So I was very honored. I was actually saying in the car journey on the way there that I was really hoping to see a dog because I just needed like that dog fix and it was so cute it was like an such an ugly dog that it just became cute and it sat on my lap for like 10 minutes and then it sat next to me and it was just it was the best thing ever and then we went to the garden center and then we went back to my nan's house and i walked her dog as well so it was just really lovely and it's now like half seven which was a lot later than we were really expecting to get back so me and my mum have ended up treating ourselves to a McDonald's for dinner because neither of us felt like cooking. So I've got their vegan wrap and I've got chips and I've got an orange juice and I've even got an apple pie for afterwards. And I'm just so excited for it. I've literally eaten so bad for the past couple of days. I ate out twice yesterday and now I'm eating out. Well, I'm having a McDonald's today. So not the healthiest weekend, but that's fine. I'm joining the gym on Monday, so I feel like it doesn't really matter anyway. But yeah, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna watch Moana because my mum's bought the DVD and it's like my favorite film ever. And we're gonna eat McDonald's and it's gonna be great. Okay, so I completely forgot that McDonald's are doing the Monopoly things at the moment. So I figured I would open mine on camera just in case I win a car or something super exciting. So I'm gonna start with this orange juice one. What does it say? Okay, I have won Regent Street, so I could win a mini. That's pretty That's pretty exciting if I find the other one. I don't actually have, like, the little booklet to put these on. I've also won something online or something. Okay, this is... That's not very exciting. Let's move on to the chips. Okay. So I've now got Games Console. Okay, also not that exciting, I don't think. Oh, actually... I've got two blues. Is there only... There must be another blue. Can you imagine if I got another blue on this? That would... That would be a very exciting video. Okay, and finally I've got chicken nuggets or a chicken sandwich. Okay, that's not great for a vegan. <laughs> and then Whitehall and will you win online? Okay, 
not very exciting maybe my mum will have the third blue one and then we will have actually won a car and that will be very exciting good morning it is now sunday so it is mother's day i've had a fairly chilled morning this morning editing a video that i'm now uploading we are now off to a cafe for some lunch and then we're going to be headed to Bodium Castle, I believe. It's like some sort of National Trust place. It's obviously a castle or at least I'm assuming it's a castle. So that's the plan for today. We are going to head there. The weather has been fairly miserable this morning, especially compared to yesterday. It's been very wet and drizzly and like not very fun weather to be walking around a castle in but it has just started brightening up so i'm really hoping it stays this way and it gets nice and sunny so when we're wandering around the castle it's really nice please excuse my appearance for the rest of this vlog my skin is just not okay at the moment and i just want to let it breathe today so i'm not going to put makeup on but i'm well aware that it's just not a nice thing to look at so please ignore that but yeah it's now like lunchtime and me and mum are gonna head to a cafe and I'm very excited for some food. Okay so slight change of plan we are not going to the castle anymore because the weather has not brightened up. I don't even know how well you're going to be able to hear me right now because it is so windy. I just had lunch, I had a really good green bean Sri Lankan curry, which was amazing. I feel like that's exactly what my body needs. I'm now back in my flat. I think it's like seven, half seven ish. Please excuse if you can hear the washing machine behind me. I'm in such desperate need of a clothes wash. Like, literally, I've been putting it off for probably well far too long I don't even want to admit how long I've been putting it off but I have no clothes left now so literally as soon as I walk through the door I put that on and hopefully some stuff will be dry by tomorrow so I have something to wear but yeah I'm now back home I didn't really feel much today in general we went out for lunch I had a really good Sri Lankan curry it was so good and then we walked along the beach a little bit and my mum took some pictures but it was honestly so cold and so windy that we had to postpone going to the castle because it just wouldn't have been that fun so then we came back and chilled pretty much all afternoon my mum edited some photos and I I don't even know what I did I I sent back my clothes I packaged up all my clothes that I'd ordered this weekend to be sent to the post office so that's pretty much all I did all afternoon so there wasn't really anything worth filming but yeah I've got the train back now I've just realized this bag of stuff behind me is food that I brought back with me so I actually really need to put that in the fridge because that's going to be kind of gross. My priorities when I got in today was putting my washing on, like I just said, and also trying to resuscitate Cindy the Cyclamen. <laughs> so this is my plant baby. My friends Taylor and James got me this. And as you can tell, she's looking very sad. She does do this every few days. She'll get very droopy and then I have to sit her in the sink full of water for like 10 minutes. And like in five hours or so, she'll probably be nice and perky like she normally is. But yeah, I saw this when I walked in and I was like, oh no, <laughs> she just looks so sad. So I'm really hoping the water I've now given her will make her look a little bit less sad. I'm going to put her back in her little place on the windowsill and we will see if she brightens up at all. Also, actually, on the topic of plants and being a plant mum, I picked up this book the other day, which I think is the funniest thing I got it from one of my favourite cafes which has got like books everywhere in it and me and my friends were just browsing at some of them and one of them showed me this and I just thought this was too good not to get. Like it's just got the funniest little sketches that just crack me up. I feel like it's very relatable, <laughs> especially now I'm a plant mum to Cindy. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that because I think it's so cute. My plan now for the rest of the evening is kind of just to sort my life out a little bit. I feel like Sunday evenings, I always end up doing that because I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to sort out before the week. So I've got my washing on, I need to make dinner, I need to make lunch and breakfast for tomorrow. I need to unpack my suitcase, I need to have a little bit of a pamper sesh because my skin is just not loving me at the moment. 
And then I really want to read my book. I've started a new book and I've just got into it. So I want to sit down and read my book this evening. But yeah, that is my plan. I've made such an easy dinner this evening. I've just got a pesto pasta. But I'm super proud of myself because I've actually cooked some vegetables to go in it as well. So I've got courgette and peppers because my body needs some vegetables right now. So this is what I'm about to eat. I have honestly had the least productive last couple of hours. The only thing I've done that I needed to get done was my washing, as you might be able to tell from the towel hanging up behind me. I don't have enough um, space on my clothes horse to put everything. So I've got clothes drying pretty much everywhere in my flat at the moment. But yeah, that is literally the only thing I've done since getting home and I've made dinner and I've eaten dinner and then I've literally just been lying on the sofa just feeling tired and feeling like I want to go to bed but then feeling too tired to do anything about that and actually get ready so <laughs> that's like the story of my life at the moment so I haven't actually done anything I needed to get done still need to do the washing up I need to make breakfast for tomorrow which is a pain I've made my lunch because I just made extra dinner to take him with me need to have a shower need to do something to sort my face out i'm literally just having such a meltdown about my skin at the moment if any of you guys have any recommendations please let me know i have actually just read a comment from someone in my last vlog saying they recommended hyaluronic acid and then there was something else that i will reread because i can't remember the word i think it began with an n but i actually have been using hyaluronic acid because i found some that my sister actually left that was hers and she left it at home so i've taken it and i think it's maybe been helping it's definitely been helping with like the dryness of my skin but the spots are just it doesn't i don't think my skin ever looks as bad on camera as it does in real life something about these g7x's definitely works wonders for people's skin i mean it doesn't look great but it just it looks a lot worse in person so need to find something to tackle my spots so if any of you guys have any recommendations please let me know but i think i'm just gonna end this vlog here because i'm really not doing anything with my evening it is 20 to 10 and honestly i'm just so tired i just want to go to bed i'm going to do the minimal amount of things i can get away with doing this evening before i have to go to bed so i'm literally going to have a shower and make my breakfast for tomorrow i'm not going to wash up i can leave that for the morning and then yeah i'm going to go to bed because as you can probably tell by my lack of like <laughs> lack of whatever speech clearly i'm tired i need to go to bed so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next one Bye. Also, side note, look how much happier Cindy's looking already. It's only been a couple of hours and she has proper perked up, so I'm chuffed. I haven't killed her yet.